Welcome to another episode of Mask of Tears. Today we're going to be going over several different characters in Street Fighter 6. I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to start off with the older cast. This tier list by no way, shape, or form is an actual tier list based off of gameplay, more so my opinion. If you don't like opinion tier list, hit the rule. Alright, so let's start off with uh, Kimberly. I'm putting her in top 5. The reason I'm putting her in top 5 is she's a ninja. As we all know, in every fighting game, ninjas are amazing. But outside of that, I did get to play her in the last open beta we had. She had options to not only mix you up on Wake Up, had unblockable setups that may or may not be taken out because don't nobody in Street Fighter seem like unblockable setups, but I do. She got a teleport that can get to you in the middle of you spamming Sonic Boom. That's fire. A great anti-air, an air command grab. Specials, all viable. I mean, there's a lot more for me to unpack about Kimberly, but thus far, Kimberly's definitely gonna be in my top five by default. Um, now, that's gonna be an interesting discussion to see how she plays on modern controls, because I played her on classic. Modern controls, she might be even worse. But uh, the fact she can get to you and mix you up like that is insane to me, honestly. Uh, but her play style is rush down, so if you like to rush people down and reset them to death and kill them, Kimberly, your character. Alright, let's move on to another uh, character I'm going to put in the top five. Doll Hism. Anybody wondering why I put, you know, Mr. Fantastic from a band man in the top? Very simple. I have never seen Doll Hism have this much leeway. Usually it's like, okay, he can stretch or he can spam. It's like Fireball or his, his stretching and his mix-ups is kind of good. But I'm watching video, I'm watching footage. Dollhism literally can get hit and still have the fireball hit you. Just think of the robberies. But not to mention only that, his teleport is fast. And let me tell you something about Dollhism having a fast teleport. That can be some crazy setups. He is probably also going to have unblockable setups. But like I said, I'm going to have to lab it, test it out, play it, um, see what it is. But no joke, this seems to be probably one of the best Dollhism I've ever seen. I've never seen Dollhism have all his mechanics. It's usually like they trade the fireball bouncing or the fireball doesn't go full screen his fireball can almost do it all really bounce jump <laughs> set you up go back yeah he a man of all trades in this game all right uh let's go ahead and put cammy top five now why put cammy top five obviously they're not gonna make cammy hard she's never been a difficult character she's gonna be easy peasy nice and cheesy she gonna be the queen of robberies. She gonna be the squirrel. That's gonna be every girl. The reason I put her in top five is, like I said, easy use. Everybody's already familiar with the game plan. Spiral arrow. You get bad with spiral arrow, DP. But I'm watching footage and seem like her, her spiral arrow intentionally goes backwards in some of the combos. Um, not to mention her speed is ridiculous. She's looking like Cammy from Street Fighter X Tekken. I don't know if y'all played that great game. Although a lot of people think it's a bad game, but a great game. But she's she's super fast. And Street Fighter 6 is not your sit down and block friendly Street Fighter. Not saying there's not defense, don't get me wrong. But Street Fighter 6 is a much more aggressive game. I've compared it to just roughly similar to Mortal Kombat X, but not quite as aggressive, but I just think it's the fact that I can get to you with Kimberly. I'm probably just playing a different game. I think because I'm playing Kimberly, I'm just playing a different game. But uh, Cammy's one of her backdrops, what I've seen is her damage isn't as high, at least not initially. Um, you have to do a lot more work to get her damage drop. But I mean, when you're that fast, if you're played chips enough and Guilty Gear Strive, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing to make people make mistakes because when you're fast, you can just whiff punish everything, you can cut everything off. So. Um, I'm not sure if they gave her low health. It might have given her standard health, but we'll just see. Um, we, we can't forget Guile. Guile's going to be top five. Why I say Guile's going to be top five, or S in this case, is, is, man, going back to the old, simple gameplay, Sonic Boom, Flash Kick, he has legitimate combos, not just them looping trips into Flash Kick. He has target combo setups into Flash Kick. His defense has only gotten better probably since Street Fighter V. I would say the system's going to make him have to learn the matchup. He's going to have to do a lot more thought. But 
Gao, come on now. This is Gao. Do I have to really explain it? It's Gao. The perfect show, though, in my opinion. And I'm going to put Chen Li at A. Now, don't get me wrong. Chen Li is going to obviously go up to S as people figure out her setups. Um, playing the open beta, it seemed like a lot of people were struggling with Chen Li's setups. And I think it's because Chen Li has to think a little bit more in Street Fighter 6 due to her stance change cancels, her anti airs, although she has a ton of them. It's like, okay, which one do I throw? And something else that's also kind of messing Chun Li up in this game is a lot of frames that she had before are negative because kind of like Strive and a lot of new fighting games, they're figuring out that nobody just wants to see you punch, punch, punch and sit down all day. Um, not saying you can't, you know, be safe on block, but it's you're gonna have to pick particular frames or particular setups to, you know, be up there. Now, continuing on, um, I want to put JP at S, but I'm not quite sure. So I want to say S minus, but I'm putting him at A. I mean, create S minus, so you'll get good at that. JP is definitely gonna be one of my characters I play because he's a zoner. He can literally get to you anywhere on the screen. He doesn't need to use the actual meter in the game to get to you. He doesn't need it. It's, it would just be combo filler for him. Um, and I just, man, he reminds me of Noob Cybot, Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat, well not X, but 11. Um, how he can basically irritate you, annoy you, pester you, chip you out over time. Um, and then he has a full screen command grip. But what was crazy, I was watching the footage again, you know, doing my little research, a little homework, because I was really excited about having another new zoner. He can throw things at you that are not even a real projectile. It's just a, a feint. So imagine you're getting ready to parry me. It's a feint ghost. And then I throw a command grab. That will command grab your parry, because you're trying to time it with the parry. The mind games with JP are going to be absolutely ridiculous. Um... And then his special, I don't know if y'all seen, he has like six different clones that slide through the screen and cross you up. And yeah, he's he's going to be robbing people. I, I can put money on he's going to be robbing people. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of videos I've watched with a lot of the top creators, they all pretty much confirm they don't like JP. So get ready for JP to probably get either readjusted or what I think more than likely nerfed, toned down, cutting down the tree. Uh, Zangief. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna put him in S. I'm gonna throw him in S. I'm gonna throw him in S. This is why. I think classic controls, he's gonna be doing some thought. Um, but it's just that, that run that he has, actually being able to use the, the new mechanic where you turn green and dash up, Dragon Rush, I think it was. The fact that he has the ability to do that after tripping you, and then let's say you're in the corner, and then he can focus attack slash guard break you with the no little dragon punch they got, or throw a grab. It's like a almost unsca unescapable setup. Like low key, I mean, saying he's going to be a monster. I, I predict him being a monster. And then like let's think a horrifying thought real quick. So he's already does high damage, has armor, has a trip, or should I say a move that jumps over trips right and you're telling me he can be played with modern control so no swiveling i'm not sitting there you know saying swiveling whipping the car churning butter none of that imagine if i just tap two buttons grab I'm telling you hey don't don't sleep on that man but uh he oh we got we got to move you real quick hold on stop that real yeah, we got to put ken he, he just took your spot now, the reason I put Ken in top five, and Zang, you gotta go to six. I I almost forgot. Like, we playing, it's talking about Devil May Cry Ken over here, you know what I'm saying? He, he Dante from DMC, and he can, you know what I'm saying? He, he had a lot of goofy things. But um, going back to why I chose to put Ken up there, it's literally Ryu with mix ups and heat seekers that are safe on block. And he has a whole slew of more target combos to mix you up. I would compare this version of Ken to, I would honestly say better than Street Fighter Third Strike Ken. And Street Fighter Third Strike Ken, y'all know that man was a monster. 
He was high, low, drop, kick, uppercut, fire, parry you into the special move, kick, kick, kick. This kid got all of that and some change. So he, yeah, definitely top five. Um, Let's see. I want to put Jiri up here as well. Um, I feel like people just haven't figured out the system with her yet. But I mean, honestly, Jiri's never really been that bad outside of Street Fighter V when she first came out. But I felt like she had her own setups. But they gave her her dive kick back. Which, if y'all know how the dive kick works, you throw a fireball, and then she zips across the room. But something else that Jiri could also do was, that a lot of people didn't forget, was she would also use the bait dragon punches on wake up. So let's say Ryu throws uppercut. You know say so You throw your super special uppercut because you see her flip. And then she does a kick that goes down, but you're here, and you go up. If she lands before you, you know she's gonna go crazy. I think that's gonna really catapult her up in the S tiers for sure. That and the fact that I've seen literally Jury throw the low fireball and walk and chase after it, but she has fast walk speed as well. So I'm like, fast walk speed plus low trip plus something that doesn't require the game's natural actual meter system. Sound like you playing your own game. Gotta, gotta put you in the S. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, Ryu. I'm gonna put you to put you in B. I feel like in this game so far, Ryu is I. Right. Obviously, you're gonna have people that play him like uh, Jimmy. Shout out to him. He's been playing Ryu faithfully even before Ryu was buffed. He was killing it on Street Fighter V. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like this system serves Ryu the same as it does a lot of these newer characters. Um, but that could just be me biased because I mean, I like Ryu because he's the fundamental, you know, face of the game, main character. But as far as play style, we all know what Ryu's gonna do. Ryu's gonna throw fireball, Ryu's gonna sit down, Ryu's gonna shuffle, Ryu's gonna throw uppercut, Ryu's gonna grab, Ryu's gonna donkey kick. The donkey kick is actually, and you know what, that donkey kick just put him up on way. Oh, let me stop. Because the Donkey Kid is going to give him a whole slew of damage and combos that he normally doesn't have access to. He had the Donkey Kick back in Street Fighter X Tech, and he has the Donkey Kick in almost every crossover game. So I'm kind of glad that the Donkey Kick has returned in some way, shape, or form, especially with the combos he's been pulling off. Um, but speaking of combos, let's talk about the Street Fighter VI actually having air combos return. That's going to be crazy, because Jury's going to use that. Kimberly gonna be using that. Maybe even Dawkins might be doing some rare combos. I mean, that's that's exciting. Because uh, the reason I, I really hyped about Street Fighter 6 and I decided to make a tier list in the first place was this game actually has, no joke, freedom of expression. Which most fighting games I feel like haven't had that, you feel me? So I'm really, man, just, just tingling with excitement. Game comes out in a couple days, I'll be playing on launch. Um, uh, let's see, DJ. DJ, I feel like, is a sleeper. Um, I, I'm definitely going to put him in the top 10. And see, it's like playing Guile, right? So you know how I say Ken is like the Ryu with mix-ups and pressure? I feel like that's what DJ is. He's like another Guile, but he has actual access to do more pressure, more mix-ups. He's got the Sonic. But peep something that DJ has. DJ has feints. DJ can raise his leg, sit back down, look at you. It didn't happen. You you saw it. You saw the leg get up, but it didn't happen. Jedi mind trick. High level gameplay. I think that's going to make DJ really, really competitive. And he's going to be the anti-zoner character that can zone you out. Like a complete, yeah, complete oxymoron there. But, you know. Uh, Marissa, right over here. I want to say she's, I want to say A, because I want to put her in S, because I feel like she has a stupid amount of damage. She's got mead, she has like the armor, but characters that are typically so straightforward and attack a lot, typically get spammed out and ran from by zoners. I could be wrong. Maybe she's just going to be banging y'all heads and maybe she's just going to be taking y'all lunch money. But from what I've seen with Marissa, which I'm going to be playing her too, testing it out. I feel as though she's gonna be like a, okay, I'm gonna bully you, 
I'm going to throw you in the corner, and I'm going to be extra good in the corner. But I don't know how she's going to do in the mid-range. That's where zoners excel. When the, when the actual screen has no end, they can just backflip away from you. Sonic boom. Sonic boom. Sonic. We've all been there. We've all been spammed out by Hadouken. Come on now. Luke. I'm going to put him in the A. Um, kind of similar to Ryu. We kind of already know what he does. He's really good at controlling range with Sandblaster. Um, combos, damage, pretty good. Um, nothing too crazy in particular with Luke, honestly. He's just really like the new version of Ryu. Honestly, like anime Ryu, but you know what I'm saying? I'm glad they fixed his hair because he looked crazy with that little spaghetti Jake Paul cut he had. I was not digging that at all. Lily, you're definitely going up here. Okay, let's talk about why Lily's going to be a terror on this game. Now, a lot of people are underestimating and sleeping on Lily because they're thinking, oh, you know, she's tiny. She doesn't do anything. Yeah, no, y'all not slide with that. Lily's going to be dangerous because Lily is a grappler, but not just any type of grappler. She's a flying grappler. And it gets worse. She has a dragon punch. I'll say it again. She has a dragon punch. And see, I despise T-Hawk. I always hated T-Hawk with a severe passion. I can't get away from it. And it's not because T-Hawk is a bad character. He's such a good character that I just don't like him because every time I used to fight T-Hawk on Ultra Street Fighter 4, playing Seth or Makoto, especially Makoto, I would take an L because he just, I was afraid of getting hit. And when I was afraid of getting hit, he's gonna grab me like a vacuum cleaner and just throw me around the room. But see, another thing about Lily that she slept on, so you remember those little, little wands she has that she can grab you with? She's like music. She can touch you, but you can't touch her. You feel me? She's a small character. I don't know if y'all peeped that. Small characters are harder to hit. But she has poles that she can basically swing like a broom to hit you. That's that's crazy. That that just sounds broken to me, honestly. Uh, let's move on to Jamie. Okay, so Jamie kind of sits on A and S to me. So on A is basic Jamie. Jamie's like, okay, he's got the car cancels he's got the i'm gonna go into my mix-ups i'm gonna trip i'm gonna bait you but i say s when he decides to get to level four and drink all his drinks when he drinks all his drinks he unlocks all his moves that version of jamie is entirely more dangerous than standard jamie but um, the reason he's so high up on here, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, he's not going to be able to drink because he has to drink one drink at a time. No, 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 no. Something I was peeping in the open beta is that Jamie has the unique ability that, let's say he, you know, you're, telling you, you're about to, to be a guy player, you know, well, there's a ton of them out there, no shame. And you're just going to sonic boom him, right? And just, you know, walk away. He can hold down the drink all the way to level four. He doesn't have to drink one drink at a time. He can just skip it if he wants to. So I'm thinking hard knockdown. He's drinking, he's drinking, he's drinking. You throw a flash kick, he stops drinking. He looks at you. Y'all make eye contact. And it's really just the quiet before the storm. Because now he's level four and you're up in the air looking crazy doing some spinning backflip. And when you land, he about to break dance on your head like a pinata. So that's why I said he's S and A. Like it's, it depends on which Jamie we talking about, but I'm gonna keep him on A possibly you know a little lower depending on how time goes on uh manning okay manning is also one of the characters that kind of sits in between a and s so i don't know if you all ever played blaze blue we got a character on there that would had a drill amane there we go this coming to mind amane was a character that wasn't that dangerous at first but he had a weird condition that once his drill got to level five, right? It would just shred your health. And he would do an absurd amount of damage. It was so bad that when we got to the Chrono Phantasm Extend, they actually had to, no joke, tone it down. Like, no joke, they had to actually go in there and be like, okay, this is crazy because people are beating people down with one button. So that's more of a, what we call a snowball character. It's not good when it first drops. It's good over time. That was Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V for the first three seasons, no, screw that. First four seasons, completely terrible, unsalvageable, hot garbage to me. 
the fifth season, I had Seth, I had Gil, and that's all I needed, really. I mean, Seth and Gil was the dream team. I never thought I would have Seth, Gil, Yuri, and all in one game. That completely blew my mind. But going back to her man's win condition, so something I peeped now, Jamie, right? <laughs> Jamie has to get, you know what I'm saying, intoxicated with his little magical herbs. It's not alcohol, but herbs, right? He has to get intoxicated with his herbs, and then when you win or lose, it resets, right? Man is really stealthy in the fact that her win condition, or her gimmick in this case, once she actually gets the like four or five grabs, I think it is, I think it's about four grabs, the damage doesn't go down. So I don't know if y'all remember Street Fighter V Nikali, how basically his dreadlocks were unlocked and then he goes Super Saiyan and he walk around with infinite Nikali for the rest of the round. It's like that, but worse because once she, you know what I'm saying, grabs you four or five times in the first round, maybe they're just playing with you sandbagging, next round she's taking 34% per grab. 34% per grab. I don't know if you caught that. That's three grabs. You about to die. That's crazy. They, they're probably going to nerf her. I can see that. Something else Manny has is uh, an anti-air, a two-hit anti-air that might lead to combos. I'm not quite sure whether it does that or not. Even if it doesn't, I mean, it's crazy because she hits you twice, does a good amount of damage, and you really can't even cross her up. That's how almost really how good it is. But like I said, I'm going to have to lab that, test that out. Um, but I think it's her down heavy. Heavy? I could be wrong, but from what I've seen, that if you jump on that, you're going to like not only get hurt, but she's going to basically reset you. And, you know, grapplers love having you on the ground. So a grappler that can keep you out of the air and make you fight on the ground, that's already, like, stupid dangerous. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, when she gets to get, like, all her grabs off, SS+. Plus, standard banded, dangerous. It's like that snake that you know is outside and you ain't cut the grass in a while and it's just sitting there. But, see, you, you don't know if it's a cobra or a garden snake. But see, that's how man it is. That's how she gets you. She reels you in. E Honda. I want to say A. I'm going to give you A. But I'm going to give you B. Because I have no clue what E Honda is capable of in this game. I have not watched almost any footage of E Honda. So I'm just going to give y'all an honest review. Uh, when the game come out, I will probably pick it up, see what he play like. But I never liked E Honda as a character. Um, his, he's cool, you know, uh, but the slappy hand mash, I know they took it out. I'll always keep that in the back of my mind when I see that, that character. Blanca, I got a friend that plays Blanca, you feel me? And I feel like this Blanca might be better than all the Blancas we've seen before because Blanca always felt like a gimmick as a character. Like, Blanca used to basically just tap one but jump, tap another button, and he was just always better than your character, right? Because he was dumb fast. You couldn't touch him, the roll, the bounce. Some games you could punish him really easily, Street Fighter V being one of them. Uh, but I'm gonna have to experiment with Blanca a little bit because I feel like Capcom took him more seriously this time. It appears that, no joke, Blanca has traps, like little toy doll versions of him that shock you for trying to fight back, which is crazy to me, but you know, that is what it is. But like I said, this is my tier list as of right now. This is just predictions. I haven't been able to play all these characters, obviously, but it's subject to change. You know what I'm saying? Once I get salty or I don't like certain characters. <coughs> God. Uh, but yeah, if you love this video, go ahead and, uh, you know, support your boy. Comment, like, share, subscribe, Mask of Tears. I'm definitely thinking about doing some more tier list and as this game drops i'm also gonna be doing combo character guys breakdowns little baby snippets i know y'all don't got that much time till next time peace